Good morning, guys. So this is me fresh out of the bed, dazed, looking crazy, but oh so blessed and grateful for a new day. It's the first thing I do when I wake up. It's opening the blinds. Y'all y'all know it's real. I just I literally just woke up. Let sunlight in. I put myself like on a new thing to where I wanted to wanted to start exercising in the morning. As far as doing like yoga and doing my meditating, I may do that after um, my first appointment today. But we're about to brush my teeth, wake Jay up, and get him some breakfast going. So I might just meet y'all back in the car because Jay's not a morning person either. But I get back with y'all. Get me live, get me ready. I know YouTube be tripping, so I'll be having to do like little increments. Um, so boom, one of the things I really love about being, I got my basket in there, it's real. One of the things I really love about being a solo esthetician or owning my own business is I can um, wear what I like. I know it's like an industry of all black, and majority of all my clothes are black and nude, but today is laundry day. <laughs> And single mom life, y'all know the struggle, gets behind on laundry sometimes. So, I got all my little sweats, I'm going to do my hair at the shop, or I might put on a hat, because the steam is just going to kill the whole natural flow. And, uh, yeah, I'm about to bang my little tunes to get motivated for today, and I'm going to meet y'all back at the shop, because like I said, can't listen to the radio, listen to my tunes without getting trouble. So my process is fairly easy when I open the shop and get prepared for a client. Of course, I like to wash my hands first, turn on all my lights, all my machines in my oven. I then go about getting all my towels, putting them in my towel warmer and lay out all of the products that I may need for the first client. Also, with COVID, I haven't really been able to use too many sheets unless it's been really cold outside and I don't want my client to feel too cold. So I've been using a lot of my paper that I would use for like my waxing just to kind of give it that barrier and make it easier for me to clean afterwards.
Wow. I thought I was recording this whole time so y'all can see my cleanup process. I gotta get it together. So basically, all I do is I unroll um, everything, like the paper on my bed so I can throw it away. Skateboard is really strict on like different things. So have closed trash cans, you can't have open trash cans. Um, I use medical grade wipes to wipe down all my equipment. So I've already wiped down my bed, even my steamer from when I touched it. My cart that holds my products over here, I've wiped that down. I'm about to clean my ice globes down as well with alcohol. Um, already bagged everything up. Now, unfortunately, I do not have a um, wash and dryer in my suite. So I have to pack all my towels up and go to the laundromat so I can make sure that gets together. Um, but the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get me a makeup model in to kind of fill up my time. Anytime I don't have clients or someone booked at that time, I'm trying to produce content for you guys on YouTube, on all my social media platforms so I can build my clientele so I can get that check. You feel me? I need that check. But anyway, so yeah, I've already cleaned everything up. I guess I can take y'all on a updated sweet tour. So I don't know if I said it earlier today, but I had a, I probably didn't. So we had a virtual hair show last night. Look at this. I have my hat on. We had a virtual hair show last night. And so we had to clean up everything and it's still literally glitter everywhere. But this is how the suite looks in the front my little waiting area i figured i'd turn y'all around so this is my little reception desk cute right snacks for people see look at all this glitter it's gonna take me forever i don't even know if you guys can see it it's gonna take me forever to sweep and mop up glitter because glitter is annoying right so over here here's my cleanup station and as you can see, I just got everything done at the end of the day or at the end of my first client. So I'm about to clean everything out. What I like to do is I like to first wash with antibacterial soap. Then I like to use alcohol. Then I like to put in my barbicide. I do half and half, half water, half barbicide. Then I go to my sterilization oven and <clears throat> run its course. And they have a cycle on here until you know it's completed. Then I like to gather everything and back it up to the next. In here, I have a massage therapist. This is her space. It smells so good in here. Like when you're walking down the hallway, it smells so bomb. But this is her space. I don't want to stay in here long. Okay, mirror. That mirror is fine. And so there's that. And then we only have one bathroom, which is fine. And this is how it looks in the bathroom. I decorated, helping with a lot of my friends and my family. So here's my bathroom. And then I'm not sure on the first tour if I had this here or not, but my mom and sister thought it would be a good idea for clients to have this privacy because I do um, waxing. And so even though I can lock the door, you know, I know a lot of people like to feel that comfort. Another thing I'm working on is I have some of my plaques here. I mean, certificates. I've been trying to find like a bomb picture to put on my wall. <laughs> and it's been a little rough. So I still don't know what to put on the walls over here. But then on this side, I have my makeup side. It's a little rough from yesterday. I have a lot of cleaning to do. Here's about half of my brushes that I'm gonna to have to clean before I leave the shop today. Here's some of my foundations. I have palettes down there. I have so much makeup. But this is like the best part of the whole suite to me. It's the view. 
yes it's a lot of traffic and everything but this is so mom when i'm like doing makeup and i know the ring lights are in and the low lights and things like that but i really really appreciate natural sunlight i feel like the makeup application looks way better and it looks like skin when, when it looks like skin we in here's another thing that i really really like on my wall it's a brace and love your body it's the most amazing thing you'll ever own and this is so so true and i'm learning that i'm about to be 33 years old but i've been living by this here's another picture that one of my friends gave me broken crayon steel color dope as well i really feel that because we're all broken in some forms and shapes in life and hey it is what it is either somebody gonna take you and love you for what it is or they ask and leave. Y'all, this look, I've been playing basketball with my son, but it is cracking. Look at the laundromat. And I feel like people just dropped things and went. And it was literally only one washer in here, and it was $5.50. And I only have like a pair of sheets. Huh? A washer? Yeah, smaller one. Oh yeah, I don't need these because it's so small. I don't have a lot of clothes. I mean, a lot of towels to wash. Yeah, but um, it's literally the bigger washers. That's like five dollars and fifty cents or seven twenty-five. I literally only have like the shop towels and one or two sheets. So, and I'm washing some of my cloth face masks. Other than that, like, I'm not spending all that for it. You feel me? But that is on the go list for sure. When I get a suite, a bigger maybe storefront, that it has to have a washer and dryer in there. But, I'm appreciated. I appreciate it. You know, it's gonna be a bomb testimony. So I'm gonna just wait it out for a washer unit to get done, and then call it a day. So that concludes my day with you guys. I hope it was enjoyable enough. I just gave y'all a little bit of how my daily life goes as an esthetician. So this is going to be a series. And we're going to get into some heavy stuff that I wish I would have known before I got my license and how maybe it could help you. We're going to get into finances. We're going to get into different products that I use at my shop. Um, question and answers. But yeah, it's March Madness. So I'm trying to go hard for y'all on content. Um, one one video a day hold me to it make sure y'all like comment and subscribe follow me on all my social media platforms instagram lifted underscore artistry all that'll be in the description and i'll see you guys tomorrow